Hi friends, welcome. If you are new to this channel, my name is Walesa and I have a furniture refinishing business that I have been running from my home for the past three years. We found this dresser for free on Facebook Marketplace. It had quite a bit of damage, but that's gonna change today because we're gonna make it pretty again. So stay tuned for this week's makeover. <laughs> The previous owner of this dresser explained to me that the reason why she posted it for free was because she didn't think she would get any money for it. As you can see, the veneer is pretty damaged. Also, they put new handles and they just drill extra holes. Now, there are some deep scratches and some flaky veneer in some of the drawers, missing veneer on some of the top that you're going to see later on. but. Like I said at the beginning, we're gonna make a pretty and I'm gonna start like I do all of my makeovers by removing the hardware and give everything a good wash with Dawn dish soap and water. The idea of using a degreaser before we sand this piece is to remove the grime that has accumulated over time, making sure that when we sand the piece, we're not pushing that grime into the wood grain. Luckily, all the damage that this dresser has is really on the exterior. There's nothing on the structural part of it. It's pretty solid. Overall, a high quality dresser. While I'm sending, I'm gonna tell you a little bit of this dresser. Somebody had claimed it initially and she chose handles, paint. She changed her mind a couple days later. So I had to order the new paint that she decided to go for and after I had already ordered that other paint I found out that I needed a special kind of primer which is a primer you're going to see me using today and it's a primer that's a lot more pricey than the one that I usually use uh, but I figured that was the only primer that I was allowed to use with this one paint so after I ordered all of those products the customer came back and said oops sorry my husband and I are not ready and um, they backed down but I decided to use this primer anyway just to test it out the reason why I'm telling you all of this is because you are gonna see that today I am using Wise Owl Stain Eliminating Primer I will be sharing in detail how this primer is different from the one that I use it is unlikely that this dresser here is going to bleed, meaning the tannins of the wood are going to filter through the new finish. Uh, since the risk is low, that's why I decided that this was a good opportunity for me to try in this product. But before I try this new to me primer, I need to make sure I wipe all the sanding dust and make all the repairs necessary, which are many, before I move on to that. To make my repairs today, I will be using wood glue, probon wood filler, and bando. First, I'm going to be filling the previous hardware holes and also those large gouges that are really all over this piece. For the parts that had larger damage with missing veneer, I use Bando. Bando is a two-part product. It comes with a hardening cream. And after you mix these two products, you have about good 10 minutes to work with the product before it starts hardening. One of the advantages to Bando is that it dries and is ready to be sanded between 15 to 30 minutes after application. So even though the repairs that I fix with it are much larger, they dry about the same time than the repairs that I make with wood filler.
time to glue the veneer that's coming loose on this drawer and I couldn't find my syringe to inject the glue, I couldn't find my toothpick and the best thing I could find was the skewer. It worked just fine. Once you put that clamp and you see all of the glue that's oozing, that's a good sign that you have enough glue in there. So that's what's important at the end. This is a primer that I was telling you about and I know here it looks white but it actually applies and dries clear. One of the advantages of this product is that it's water-based which means that you can just clean up with soap and water, you don't need mineral spirits, you don't need ammonia or any of those other harsh chemicals. On the downside, you have to wait four hours to recoat, and it dries to the touch in one hour so it takes a lot longer than my regular primer. Painting day is here and I am using a beautiful shade of green, the color Bellwood from Fusion Mineral Paint. I'm applying two coats. I wanted to keep the two top drawers and the bottom base natural but being that the two top drawers had a few very deep gouges I decided to cover up those repairs that I made including the hardware holes that were covered up by doing a color wash with this very neutral color from Fusion Mineral Paint. If you have been following for a while you know that I like to use this neutral color to blend in all the unevenness from the repairs against the wood that way I can still appreciate some of that beautiful wood grain after I'm done applying my color wash I wait one minute and then I grab my wet paper towel and start wiping now sometimes you can over wipe like I do here but don't worry keep wiping and you will find that your paper towel is getting saturated with paint. Use that same paint to go back and wipe those areas where you over wiped and it'll make them even. I am gonna be top coating this piece with, you guys know, my go-to top coat high performance from General Finishes and as always, I'm applying three coats.
Today, my husband is putting some pretty cool looking hardware that complements the modern style of this dresser. Just in case you're wondering why we use these pieces of tape is because it protects the areas around where the drill is going to be touching and as you can tell not only do we make our measurements and write them down there but also like i said it just protects the drill from damaging um, the piece that i just painted it just keeps both my husband and i at ease And here it is. I love a good color over those blondy dressers. For this particular piece, I think both the beautiful shade of green and the natural front drawers and bottom base complement the already beautiful shape that this dresser has. Let me know what you guys think of this makeover. If you liked today's video, remember to subscribe. And if you already have and you don't want to miss on next week's makeover, hit the notifications button. Remember that just like there is hope for these pieces of furniture, it doesn't matter how tough things get, there's always hope for you. I will see you guys next week.